Today we're going to go over how to retrieve the pre-shared key that may be configured on your IPsec tunnel. Um, if you didn't document it, if you didn't write it down, um, you can't view it from the GUI on the FortiGate. Uh, there's no way to kind of see what it is once you put it in and save it. Uh, so I'm going to go over kind of a quick, easy method for you to be able to retrieve this if uh, if necessary, you know, um, so what we're going to do here is we're, we're going to see, we have our, uh, our tunnel here that we're going to retrieve our pre-shared key from. So on 7.4, I know you can right click and do edit in the command line, but, um, for older versions, I'm going to go ahead and just go all the way through the command line. So we're going to do here is we're going to do config VPN IPsec phase one interface. And then we're going to do edit our tunnel name and then we're going to do show. So right here we can see the phase one settings of our tunnel and we can see that the, the pre-shared key right here is encrypted. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this guy real quick, even though it's encrypted. And then we're going to do end and then I'll just clear this, get it here and then we're going to do config wireless wireless controller vap and then we're going to do edit and let's just call this ipsec psk retrieve i guess <laughs> of course i'll just call it ipsec psk and then we're going to do set ssid and then you can make up uh you know whatever test ipsec and then we're going to set the um, passphrase and you're just going to paste that encrypted text um, that we just copied right in here. And you're going to hit enter and you're going to type end. And then at this point, um, you know, we could try going back in here, but as you can see, let's see it, it's IPsec. Show. If we look at it in the command line, it's still going to show encrypted, right? Uh, and what we're doing is we're kind of taking that password and we're putting it in to like a fake temporary SSID uh, because if we go look at our SSIDs, Wi-Fi switch controller SSIDs, we can see the new one that we created right here. We're going to double click on that guy. And if we go down here, the SSIDs actually have the ability so that you can view the passphrase. Um, so I believe, and I'm not 100% sure, but they use like the same type, uh, the, the, the same way to encrypt the Wi-Fi SSID password when you enter it in as they do the IPsec. The only difference is there's no toggle to see. Uh, so as long as we click this guy here, uh, we can see the actual pre-shared key. And this is what I had configured on my IPsec tunnel. So just a little quick, easy way. Uh, if you misplace your pre-shared key for the IPsec tunnel, if you have a vendor you're trying to connect to and you don't want to reach back out to them to try to get the pre-shared key. Um, if you do a con if you have a config backup of your firewall and let's say you get compromised or uh, the config gets wiped and you have to restore from backup. You can do that same thing with the encrypted text from your backup, con uh, backup config, do the same thing and you'll be able to see what the pre-shared key is on the IPsec tunnel so that you can put it in. Um, hope this is helpful for you. This has gotten me out of a lot of jams. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you in the next video.